welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I'm Savannah of Soul Divi Dyes Yarn and we are coming from a completely different location for this little intro. Um, I haven't even opened the blinds yet. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning so I need to do something. But I'm up here real quick and I wanted to point this out. My husband wrapped that at his dad's house and is like, that's for you. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? He says it's a tiny little thing inside of a big box. But he also says it's very heavy, so can Christmas come already now? <laughs> you know, I have ideas in my head, but I don't know if they're correct or not, so we will see. All I know is that he, <laughs> my daughter last night, because she's been going, they went over two nights ago to wrap this, but then realized they needed something, so they couldn't wrap it. And then yesterday, my daughter walks past me, and she's like, I hope Grandpa got packing peanuts. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, we couldn't wrap your present because we need packing peanuts. So, like I said, I have an idea. But but my, my husband had to bring that home. Like, couldn't he just leave it at his dad's house until Christmas? His dad comes over for Christmas, so it's like... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the blinds, get things going up here, and then I'll go downstairs and show you Advent. All right. All right, so we're back down here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my advent. Um, my spun up yarn from yesterday because I got that finished yesterday. I did not bring my shawl downstairs to show you because I only put in like five more rows. So I got distracted again. Um, I also ate dinner too, so. Oh, look at these bags. I'm so tired. I keep waking up in the middle of the night. You know, I I might be 37 years old, but I recently learned that another symptom of I don't know if it's a symptom of PMS or just like an indicator that you're about to get your cycle is insomnia. And I think that is true for me. Um usually a couple days up a couple days to a week prior to me getting my cycle, I have a really hard time sleeping. Either I can't fall asleep right away or else I wake up a bajillion times in the middle of the night. And that's what's been happening lately. I woke up a ton last night. A ton. And I also hate sleeping in. I hate sleeping in because I feel like I waste my whole day. Gosh, my hair is just so annoying. Busy day today, busy day today. So I have to clean my daughter's room. Um, I have their laundry right over here. It's clean. I just need to get it um, put away, folded, put away. Um, not too busy with like craft wise, unfortunately, but I'll sneak it in there because that's who I am. Clean my daughter's room. Did I already say that? Um, and then make the, the, determination if I want to go to the store again. Oh, see, that's... If I want to go to the store. We went to the store on Monday. Completely forgot to grab milk. I didn't realize we were as low as we were. So the, de the determination is, do I want to go to the store to get milk and then also get things to make chocolate chip cookies? Um, or do I ask my, my husband to pick up milk on the way home and just use the Oreos and Chips Ahoy for Santa this Saturday, uh, Friday night. My kids are okay with using the Chips Ahoy and Oreos. My daughter also asked if she could give Santa some beer. I told her she has to ask her dad about that one, um, which I thought was freaking hilarious. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, what else? If we go to the store to eat things for cookies. Technically, these cookies are going to be for my husband. I mean, we'll all eat them, but he really loves homemade chocolate chip cookies. And I almost never make them. Um, I just always forget to get supplies to make them. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. The, the person that I am right now says stay home, ask husband to pick up milk because I just don't want to. 
but at the same time I kind of want to make my husband some cookies <laughs> I know stupid isn't it so Zizi is just getting up getting in the car going to the store gosh excuse me sorry I am really tired this morning anyways let's move on right sorry so we sold a bee dyes yarn woodland creatures advent box day 22 22 is this color this is called moose you can't have a forest without a moose at least in the northern parts of the country or the continent or whatever you want to call it okay so moose day 22 get a picture and I finished spinning and plying my fiber last night. Look at how pretty this one is. I love how muted the colors are. Like I'm all for bright, bold, beautiful colors, but sometimes a nice muted color is just what you need sometimes. This one's really lovely. Yep. So I get to figure out the stats on this one today. So that's a little bit of fun. Um, my bobbins were this close to being pretty even. That's why I like my Polworth. <laughs> it was really close to being even. It was just a very small amount at the end. And it was the blue. <laughs> so yeah, that one is all done. So I don't have to worry about spinning today. That tomorrow um that is about it so far yep i'll see you later okay um got ahead uh went ahead and finished this up real quick this is a smaller one so um <clears throat> yeah it went pretty quickly uh Polworth, which we already know um it's about 85 yards it's definitely smaller sport weight 15 wraps per inch and it's 0.8 ounces or 24 grams so all done nice little one oh we're almost there guys almost to the end oh and um a quick update on my daughter's yarn uh tracking finally shows that it's in colorado it's in aurora colorado which is I think it's a hub for FedEx, so it's just up north in Denver. Uh, so maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I'm just going through deleting emails. Is that own nitpicks? Line brand, click it. Oh, so tight. It still says delivery day. Scheduled delivery is pending, but at least it's in Aurora, Colorado. So that's good. It's closer. I was telling my husband last night how I ordered some yarn from Holstgarn in Denmark. And um, I already have a, last night I got a tracking number for it. And I'm like, wouldn't that be some funny stuff if uh, I got my Holstgarn before I got my Lion Brand yarn? And I'm like, Lion Brand Yarn is only coming from New Jersey. And I ordered that last week. But my whole scarn is coming from Denmark. And I only ordered it yesterday. So I'm just like, how funny. I'm like, sure. that. I mean, if I would have ordered it from like Wool, wool Warehouse, uh, that'd be here in like three days. Granted, I don't know about this time of the year. But yeah. Um. Also, I keep forgetting to mention. You see this? I know... Um. I forgot to mention it yesterday. Um, I bought some of these. What are they? The Bic Body. Oh, that's, that's not going to focus. It's the Bic Body Mark Markers. They're temporary tattoo markers. Um, I have been thinking about. Um, I can't do this one because I'm not left-handed. But of getting knuckle tattoos. Uh, knit Pearl. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while. And uh, I thought... It'd be best to test it out before 
I thought it'd be like a really big like adjustment or whatever, but I honestly barely notice it. Unless I'm like looking at my hand like this. I half the time my hand is facing me this way. So I'm not noticing it. Um, but I think it'd be fun. I like that font too. Uh, I found a font online that I liked. Honestly, what I had would have liked is like block letters with floral kind of peeking behind it. But I don't think my knuckles are big enough <laughs> for that kind of um, design. Especially if I'd want it like line design. Um, with tattoos, um, they do kind of fatten up after a couple of years like the ink spreads a bit um, so it doesn't matter how fine your lines are they're going to spread a little so maybe just that I would not get that hard that was just a doodle that I did after the fact so yeah and um you can see that it's starting to fade away so they're supposed to last a couple of days um so that's not too bad, considering I, I did put my hands in water quite a bit yesterday. So it's really just this one that's fading the most. Um, so it's, it's an idea. Just getting and going to do it is a whole nother, um, it's a whole nother entity, actually. Um, but yeah, I wanted to point it out because I'm sure you've seen it. In yesterday's video and I completely forgot to mention it I really wish I could doodle on this side um, but I, I just my left hand while it can do a lot of things it cannot write <laughs> so this one is plain this one has pearl it's an idea <laughs> hey guys Oh, I was going to go make a pizza. I'll go back upstairs in a minute. It was too dark where I was standing. Um, dilemma solved from earlier. You know how I said I didn't know if I wanted to go get groceries or stay home. Well, I was watching Allison of Lofty Loops Yarn, her Vlogmas for today. and Or maybe it was yesterday's. Either way, I was watching it. And uh, she made the point that she was like, I'm going to use Instacart because I don't want to go shopping. I'm like... Why didn't I think of that? I mean, I've never used Instacart before. So I went on and I I wanted to see how much it was going to cost um, for the things that I needed. The milk and then the, the bits that I needed for the cookies. Because I have some stuff, not everything. And it wasn't that expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm having my groceries delivered. Yes, I don't have to leave the house. So happy. Anyways, it's lunchtime. So I'm going to go make myself a pizza because I'm hungry. Um, my, my daughter asked, uh, can we do Instacart all the time? I'm like, no, we can't do it all the time because it does cost a little bit extra. Um, and this is just a small order. So I was so excited <laughs> that I don't have to leave the house. <gasps> the dream come true for this person right here. <laughs> and it's so funny too, you know, but before the pandemic, before I had a job, when I was a stay-at-home mom and I just sit at home by myself, my husband hated it because I kind of hated it too because I'd always leave the house and go shopping when I shouldn't. You know, like Joann's, Michael's, places I don't need to go, right? Um, now, since the pandemic, I don't want to go anywhere at all. I want to stay home. I want my stuff brought to me <laughs> all the time. I hate leaving the house. Anyways, just thought I'd uh, let you know about that hidden gem right there. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm hungry. Bye. Hey, get out of here. Hi. Um, so it's been a pretty lazy morning. I finished eating my lunch. Okay. Why does it always happen? Um, and I've been watching Vlogmas and some other videos as well. And I worked on my ramble shawl. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done. So from last night to this morning was that much. 
and then today just this much um, I am getting closer I've hit uh, I think I'm in the 90s the 90s now for my stitches but my shoulder really hurts today so that's unfortunate so I'm gonna take a break on the knitting my delivery should be here soon for my groceries and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my daughter's room because I want to go ahead and get that taken care of Ugh, sorry I want to go ahead and get that taken care of so I can go ahead and sit down and maybe work on something else so I don't know if I'm going to keep working on this and try to get to the end of the stripe section we'll do we'll see how my shoulder feels um a little bit later I also debated picking up the what is this one called the Straya Straya cardigan I actually thought about maybe picking this one up today and getting a little bit more on it I don't know yet I'm hoping my daughter's room doesn't take nearly as long as my son's room did but it really all depends I don't plan to make cookies today I can always do that tomorrow um, after everything is cleaned I mean the only thing I guess that would be left to clean would be the kitchen to be honest the counters I don't have a lot of counter space in my kitchen and the one that's the counter bit that's like closest to the outside of my kitchen collects a lot of stuff so that's pretty full um, and needs to be cleaned off but other than that um, my house isn't too bad I mean down here needs to be vacuumed pretty badly I just don't know we'll see but yeah pretty chill morning which is nice but yeah <laughs> all right we'll see how it goes all right here's a quick little before uh video of her room like I said it's not as bad as her brother's she does have a lot of little stuff so and she kind of wants to rearrange so we'll think about that so yeah she has a giant room she got lucky when we did the basement but uh, also my groceries came, so that was really nice. So let's go ahead and get started. There is a, I guess a midway point. Got so much stuff, a whole trash bag full of trash. Um, and we moved things like so. So she's now going to start, I guess, decorating how she prefers. Don't mind that piece of tape there. That was like a mistake that the, uh, when we got the walls done, the taping and the mudding, there's a dent there, but they never came and fixed it. So <sighs> look, my cross stitch pieces live in here. <laughs> yeah, there's so much stuff. I still gotta go through there. Gotta go through these drawers. Gotta go through her books, so on and so forth. Yep. Okay, probably two hours later, who knows, but we're finished. I mean, minus the shelves. Uh, oops, sorry. I couldn't find any screws that are short enough. So, unfortunately, that is not happening. We'll probably put the shelves here. That way, if we do put her desk back there, um, it'll still work. But yeah, she gets a new to her room. <laughs> um, that's where all of her books are. We really just had to get rid of the level one reading books, technically. I put those up in her brother's room. And we got rid of a lot of stuff. Two trash bags full. Two trash bags full. I hope to one day make this nice for her, though. It's so yuck. Yep. That's what she's got. Hi. Um... Yeah, it's already four o'clock. It's already four o'clock in the afternoon. So not much else is going on today. Uh, cleaning was probably, well, cleaning my daughter's room was probably the biggest task of the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up. Um, I did reach, I have 100 stitches. So I only need 17 more. So that's probably like 17 more of these garter row, or these garter ridges, so. It's still a bit of knitting, but I'm getting there. 
I am getting there. Um, I picked this up for a second, looked at the pattern, and was like, eh. I had planned to watch some Vlogmas, so I'm like, I need to like concentrate on that. So really, the best time for me to work on that will be when my husband is watching football because I don't pay attention to that. I can focus on that. So if I do want to pick this up, I can do that during football, which football season's got a little weird again. Um, normally football, at least NFL, is Monday, Thursday, Sunday. My husband does like college football too, so Saturday. Uh, but because um, things are ramping up with the COVID scene, there was two football games on last night, I think. I don't think there's anything on tonight, but then there's more... Obviously Thursday. He said something, I think, about Friday there'll be football. So they're kind of like breaking it up and spreading it out throughout the week, which normally I don't prefer. But if I want time to be able to focus on things, then sure. <laughs> sure, go for it. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably just keep going on this, try to get those last... 17 stitches onto the needle so that I can start into the brioche section which I'll have to watch a YouTube video and re-familiarize myself with brioche um, but I know once I get into it it's not that difficult um, yeah that's really it for today um, I'm gonna see about ordering pizza tonight because that would be nice <laughs> um, yeah and I hope you guys have a good evening, day, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you tomorrow.